Welcome everybody to the Lizard Lab Hope of the Week. It's a great pleasure to have um, Dr. Simon back in presenting this week. And um, I'm going to hand over to him right away. Okay, guys. So for this week's Hope of the Week, I will break the Hope of the Week rules and pick a species from South Africa, which um, is moreover a species I kind of worked with. Um, okay. All right. Uh, so I will not keep you longer in distress and reveal this week's species is Vembela certa rupicola. So uh, this is a species from the Lacertid family, and only fairly recently got its own genus name, um, Vembe Lacerta. Uh, the Vembe refers to the, the Vembe region in the north of South Africa, where the species uh, is endemic. Now, uh, I know what you're thinking. Why is this small, dull brown colored lizard species special? Well, it's not. However, I have a kind of unique relationship with this species and I thought I wanted to share this with you guys. So, um, around six years ago, I started a project that aimed to um, look at convergent evolution uh, in pheromonal design in lizards. And to do so, I had to collect pheromone secretions of a large number of species inhabiting a range of different environmental conditions and because i decided to to focus on the lacertids um, i of course also had to collect secretions uh, of south african species so i was forced to a road trip in south africa um, the road trip started in a um, mountain area near stellenbosch uh, where we sampled uh, trobitsaura jularis uh, and of course ran into some very cool uh, cordylid species um, and near Cape Town at, at, um, at the coast we find some uh, Meroli species as well. Um, in our road trip the next stop was uh, the Cedarburg which was actually not too far from Stellenbosch and uh, we were looking for Pedioplanis, Cedarburg wonderful area uh, and we were looking for Pedioplanis which we eventually later um, found and collected pheromones from. So that was great. Um, and later we drove a thousand K north um, to a national park near Kimberley uh, called uh, Roy Pork, Roy, uh, Roy Port National Park. Um, and we want to sample uh, Merolis, squamulosis there, and also one of the, the Nucra species. So it was pretty cool. Um, we failed to find uh, Ignotropis, but yeah, that was okay. Uh, it was really beautiful there, actually. Um, so the sandy roads, and one of the coolest thing I saw was the, uh, how do you call it? Uh, Bustards and um, secretary birds. Should yeah, the Gemsbok. Yeah, Gemsbok as well, yeah. Super cool. Um, after uh, Royport, we went to uh, Limpopo province uh, in the north, uh, so another thousand K up. Um, however, at that point, I must say I was a little bit stressed because I still did not carry the, the specific uh, permits to sample in the Limpopo uh, region. Um, and it was frustrating because I submitted my request almost five, six months ago uh, prior to the field trip. Um, and I emailed and telephoned the office responsible for the permits a number of times, but they always told me, uh, yeah, we're on it. Um, we had a lot on our plates. Uh, you had to be patient, okay, okay. But now we were entering uh, the province and still did not have any permits. So um, I tried to call the office, but nobody picked up. So we decided to go to the office ourselves uh, and ask for permits in person. So once we arrived at the office, they were very um, friendly, we were welcomed and, and pointed to the person responsible for, for our file. And when we sat down, I could literally see my 
permit request printed on the top of the disk. Um, it was very frustrating, but no harm done. Um, I had to fill in some things on the computer. Um, she took the stamp and voila, we got the permits in less than 10 minutes. So that was great. Um, so we drove to uh, La Palala Wilderness and there we searched for uh, Heliobolus, which we found. Um, so that was awesome. Um, okay, then we were ready to go for the last one on the list, which was Vembe Lacerta Rupicoli, our herb of the week. And um, the species is also called the South Pansberg rock lizard because it's indeed endemic to the South Pansberg region. Um, so based on, on published observation data, I had the, the GPS coordinates to guide us to the different spots where the species was uh, observed before. Um, so we stayed in a little hut, um, which we used as a kind of base camp. Um, so each day we started a, a hike in, in search for this lizard species and each day on a, a different slope of the mountain. And we stayed there for, for five days and we had eight hour hikes every day, uh, but we did not find the species at all. So it was super frustrating actually. Um, however, we did so see a lot of other cool animals like um, Martin's favorite, uh, some flat lizards and also some um, Kerosaurids. So that was pretty cool. So um, anyway, I consider the Vembe Lacerta Ripicola the one that got away. And that's why I nominate this species as Herb of the Week. <laughs> that was it, guys. <laughs> very cool. Thank you very much, Simon. You're welcome. I'm, sh I'm sure there will be some very challenging questions about <laughs> <your> presentation. <laughs>